So I came out to check out this historic school building, and I found a new friend. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you are the friendliest darn thing. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. This guy will not leave me alone. I've tried walking and he just keeps jumping on me. Don't ya? Don't ya? Alright, man. Before anything you see on this video, this dog came absolutely barreling at me while I was filming the historic Cave Spring Schoolhouse. I turned around and as I was taking a picture, he was already mid sprint towards me. There was a split second there where I thought I was about to get murdered by some vicious dog, but nope. Turns out he just wanted a buddy and I was going to be his buddy that day. He just kept jumping up on me and playing, so I couldn't get over and tour the adjoining Cave Spring Cemetery today. I even went as far as trying to sit in my vehicle for a while thinking he might get disinterested and just go home, but unfortunately that didn't work either. Decided he needed to be in the video since he took up so much of my time this morning. He was a friendly guy and ultimately I enjoyed it. I'm guessing he gets pretty excited every time he sees a new friend visit this historic site. So let's talk about the real reason we visited. You are looking at the historic Cave Spring Schoolhouse. The school and neighboring Cave Spring Cemetery are two historic locations in Sarcoxie, Missouri. The schoolhouse was built in roughly 1838 when settlers were just moving into the area. During the Civil War, a nearby property is where the Raider Farm Massacre happened. That's where more than 30 Union soldiers were brutally murdered by Confederate guerrillas. This event changed the tone for the negative in the area. After that massacre, both sides would burn most of the communities in Jasper County, including Carthage. During those events, the schoolhouse would become the headquarters for a unit of Missouri militia fighting for the Union. It would also serve as the county courthouse for two years after Carthage was burned. It would go back to being a schoolhouse and remain that way until it closed in 1966. The reconstruction of the Cave Spring Schoolhouse was completed in 2007. The adjoining historic Cave Spring Cemetery is the final resting place of several Civil War soldiers and incredibly has a Revolutionary War soldier here too. His name was Moses Duncan. Really a neat little place with a ton of history behind it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and meeting my new friend today. Until next time.